When Nodak released the Old One, the black smoke did not transform him like the others. Instead, his fate was far worse. A powerful force flung him across the room and into the dark descent, where he fell for what seemed like days. When he finally hit the bottom, Nodak was exhausted, dehydrated, and starving. Leaning against the wall for support, he collapsed. Until he heard a voice calling to him from somewhere within the chamber. Nodak followed the crumbling path to the sound of the voice until he came upon a dark figure standing atop a gate. You have arrived at last to fulfill your destiny. D destiny? I don't even know where I am. Who, who are you? This is the dark gate, where the boundaries between your dimension and the other side are thin. It was constructed many millennia ago to hold off the forces of evil that used to pour through here. As to who I am, I am Olm, and I have to thank you for freeing me. No, I, I didn't want to free you. I, you tricked me with that potion. This was all a trick to set you free. Freeing me was a small, small piece of it. But the real reason I kept you alive is through that gate. This is where you'll be going next. Why? I, I just, I just want to get out of here. Enough. Everyone you know and love in Evanglade is gone. And it's because of you. Do what I ask and I will cure your precious city of the plague you brought upon them. Okay. What do you ask of me? I'll do anything. You must make another Ore Seeker potion. You can find everything you need around here. Then, there is a prison cell with an arrow you must acquire from a lost soul. With everything in hand, drink the potion and the way will be revealed. Once you get to other side, you must destroy the orb. Do this, or Evanglade is forever doomed.